Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming, so we've got another treat today. These are from Bobby. I believe that's his name. It's the same guy who sent three heavy first edition base set Spanish booster packs in the, I don't know, four or five videos ago or something like that. After he saw the video, he's like, you know what, I'm going to send you the rest of them. And he sent three that are right around 21 grams that may be heavy, and then another three that 21.34 probably for sure heavy. I would say based on what he was telling me that these are probably heavy, more, more leaning towards the almost definitely heavy. However, we're going to open them up and I, we're going to open these up first and we're going to keep them separate from these just so that you know we can kind of uh, gauge it a little bit. I think from what Bobby had told me in the email, yeah, there was there was 33 packs in the box if I remember correctly. And you know he sent three in a video <clears throat> that we opened up. Then there's six here, and I think he opened up one or two already. And one of the ones he opened up was actually under 21 grams, so he was a little unsure, <clears throat> but it was still pretty high. Had a good distance between that and some of the other packs. So we're going to try this out. We're going to go ahead and open up this very first pack. These are nice and tight, much tighter than uh, some of the English or German counterparts. So I'm going to make sure I have those cards pushed down. Definitely don't want to cut a card. I can't remember. I should remember this. I should have some of this stuff, you know, memorized, you know, what position the card is in. But we're going to open this first one straight through. We're going to sleeve up the hollow as soon as we see it. And then we'll, we'll do the pack trick for the rest of them. So, this very first card we have is a dugong. And then we have far fetched, arcanine. All three of those names have been the same so far. Same with Bulbasaur. Onyx, Star U. You know what? I think I'm going to say it's the fourth one off the back just by looking at that. One, two, three. Maybe it was the third one. We'll do the fourth one. We're going to put that there just in case. Hopefully, I put the right card off the side to the side. Do Duo. Nope, I did not. So this is an electrode, and which is not a holographic card. And then we have two energies. Let's see what this was. This was a Magnemite. So we did open this one up thinking it should be a heavy, but as you can see, it's not always you know, an exact science. Now let's hope that these other two are indeed holographic, or do indeed have holographic cards. So let's try pack number two. But it was the third card from the back, so at least we know which card to put off to the side. One, two, three. So German is third from the front. Spanish is third from the back. English is fourth from the back. Usually. <laughs> For base set. Alright. Pokemon Flauta. Kadabra. Magmar. Metapod. You know, it's kind of funny. Uh, the German first edition stamp was exactly like the English one, but this one actually has the different word. And kind of looks like, well it might not be different font, maybe just the the word is different, Edition Nidoran Cambio or Switch Diglett Magnemite then we have a Psychic Energia and a Fighting Energia alright come on, be a hollow ooh man it is not that's a heartbreaker, but at least we'll know once we get to those, those for sure should be holographic cards. And you know, I ran into this kind of issue with uh, English, anyways, Team Rocket, Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes, some of the Neo sets, and for that reason, you know, I sold those, I've been selling those as unweighed packs instead of light or heavy because it's really, really hard to tell. There's usually three or four packs that are really heavy. You know for sure those have hollows in them. And then there's about 15 packs in the middle that may or may not actually have a holographic in them. It looks like we have missed twice in a row on these. So we've got the Super Quite Day Energia, <clears throat> which is Super Energy Removal. One more to go for the maybe heavy packs. So hopefully our luck will change and we can actually get this one with a holographic inside. One, two, three. 
All right. Maintain the Miento. <laughs> Maintain the Miento. I don't even know. We'll move. We'll move on. Kakuna, Super Potion, Sandshrew, Poliwag, Weedle. Most of these names are the same. Machop, Tangela. Then we've got a Water Energy and a Lightning Energy. In fact, I think it's mostly just been the trainers. I guess maybe those aren't seen as names. I mean, I could be wrong, but maybe I'm just looking at the, the Spanish ones, and those are seen as names, so they don't have a, or they're just weird names, and they don't have words to translate it into, so it just stays to whatever it is. All right, here we go. Be a hollow. Ooh. Man, I am on a roll today for not getting in uh, any holographic cards. Chica, or Lass. I had, probably about an hour ago, I had just opened up the first edition German packs that was posted two days ago. <clears throat> trying to catch up right now on all the videos. So we need a change of pace. We need these to have that Charizard. And I'm hoping for the best for Bobby. We've opened up three duds. And I don't know if that means some of his other packs have hollows or what. Okay, so we have two Blastoise artworks and one Charizard. We're going to start with this Charizard. We're going to keep it in the order that, that he has it right here out front. And these packs are so tight. One, two, three. Wait a minute. No, it's third from the back. One, two, three. Oh yeah, and I can tell that's got a little bit different stock to it. So I'm thinking we're going to be okay. The one that I just sleeved up, don't be falling now. Did not have a different stock type in it, but we'll put it back where it was supposed to go. Third card from the front. Poder Plus, Poliwhirl, Jinx, Purple Face Jinx. Ooh, a Pikachu, there we go. These all have no sheen. The Drowsy, Golpe de Viento, Abra, Onyx, Lightning Energy, Water Energy. Come on, be a hollow. Ooh, Magneton. Just pulled a, uh, this was one of the most recent unlimited hollows that I pulled as well. And this looks pretty good. The centering is great. Not seeing print lines. A little bit of silvering up here. Backside looks really nice. A little few white dots, or a few little white dots there on the backside. Two packs to go. It's time to pull a Charizard. What do you guys think? This one? Push the cards down. One, two, three. Definitely looks like a hollow back, similar to the Magneton that we just opened up. Got Dratini, Porygon, Pokedex, Voltorb, almost like a lighter print right there. Weedle, Sandshrew, Coughing, Metapod, Water Energy, Psychic Energy. You might want to just take those energies and throw them in the front before I re reveal that one. We're going to do a double reveal. See if we can get some extra luck going here. One, two, three. And then we'll go over the condition of the card as well. Both of them. Put those energies in front. We don't want to end with that. So I got another psychic energy, another lightning energy. Defensor, Central Day Pokemon, War Turtle, Charmander. Caterpie, Machop, Drowsy, and quite the Energia. Looks like that dog is going off in the background again. Here we go. Do it at the same time. Oh, we got the Charizard! Oh man, alright. Hit my channel. We're going to set you to the side for a second, and we're going to see what is going on with this first edition Spanish Charizard. Wow, look at that. 
maybe a little print line down there you can kind of see it I really got to shine pretty hard to catch it in the right light I'm trying to point out all the little tiny flaws that most people wouldn't even care about but I'm trying to do this so this guy who uh, who sent me these packs can figure out whether or not he wants to grade this thing which I'm sure you it, he will want to and it's got a little bit of uh, silvering on the edge I don't even want to touch the card zooming in on the background man a first edition Charizard and this is Spanish man that backside that looks nice tiny well I thought it was a little white dot I think it may just be a it was the way the light was catching the edge yeah because it kind of disappears at an angle very nice wow pull a first edition Charizard It's Hitmonchan. He's probably looking pretty good over here. You know, normally he'd be doing all right. You know, Hitmonchan had his day. It was a part of the Haymaker deck. He did a lot better in decks than uh, Charizard ever did. But right now, this is the star of that those pack openings right there. Very cool. Well, Bobby, let me know what you want to do with these cards. I know you graded some of the other ones. I'll get them back to you if that's what you want. But congratulations. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well. We've got more to come.